Okay, so we're back. And for you guys who don't know, I am a huge Metal Gear fan. So, rather when Kojima was in charge of the product. But this is photography. Okay, so I have a uh, little action figure here on the stand with the black background. And I have it a little bit tilted here. I'm gonna take the uh, Panasonic, see if there's any juice left in it. Yeah, it seems to be... Yeah, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit now around what the current setup is. Okay, so we see we have the figure here on this black backdrop and we have it a little bit of an angle on it. So, uh, let's see here. And we have two studio flashes. Now these are the ones that I unboxed in uh, uh, Photo News number 5. And these are two uh, 120 watt second strobes or studio flashes. This one I have a snoot on it with a honeycomb filter. Yeah. So it will give us a top light on this figure. And uh, this over here, we have the barn doors. And as you can see, they're closed down. They give us a slit of light that will be basically more of this side of the figure and the backdrop. Also on this, I have a red filter. Because if anybody has played Metal Gear Rising, you know that when the character in question, Jack in this case, becomes extremely angry, he basically sees red. <clears throat> so this one, we have a red filter, but we also have a honeycomb uh, filter in it as well. So they are both gonna be a little bit of a polarized light, so I'm gonna turn this on, you know, the modeling light, and I'm also gonna turn on the modeling light so now that both of the modeling lights are on and I have to, you know, turn off the ceiling light. So we get a little bit darker and you can now see how it's lit. And uh, these two studio strobes can be put between full power and one eighth power. So let's see here now, uh, being short. I think we have the top down light is on a fairly low setting. Yeah, almost one eighth, a little bit more than one eighth. Maybe, maybe, uh, let's see, three eighth power or something like that. And the red one is almost at half power. So uh, now you know what we have for settings and we will take some light metering on it and uh, we'll work from there and I'll see you in a bit. Bye. <clears throat> okay, so now we're back and we have the trusty Shepard light meter back once again. And um, since these are PC synced, I can always use it like so and uh, we'll be able to do a light reading on it. So we'll just put it like so, and it gives us a light reading of uh, 14. And if I put it then to 14, it shows right between five, aperture 5.6 to f8. So I think we're gonna take a picture then at aperture f8 at 1 60th of a second and uh, we'll work from there. So in uh, this instant, I'll bring up the, I think we're gonna do two shots uh, in this setup. First, I'm just gonna use the kit lens, the, uh, what is it now, the 50, oh, 80 millimeter f2.8. So I can always stop that down to a correct exposure. And uh, then if uh, I deem that we're going to take it with another uh, lens, uh, we'll do it. But uh, we'll first see this and see how it goes. There we go, and uh, let's see now. 
I would like to do just a vertical about now it was a full frame or rather we since I did it like this uh, we're gonna get the entire figurine in the shot but I also want to do one with just the arms and the chest area with you know so on so what we're actually gonna do I'm gonna tinker a little bit here I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna use a uh, lens that I have shown you in a other video I'm just gonna put off these for now but this is the macro lens that I talked about the 80 millimeter macro and uh, yeah I think this might be good as is because otherwise I can just take off this little extension tube here which doesn't make it a macro but in this instance I think this actually will work uh, as we want it to work but we will see I'll just take off the 80 millimeter which I have here the f2.8 and we'll put on the <clears throat> macro there we go f8 Okay, in this instance it was this part of the figurine that was in the frame so and also with these types of uh, lenses you get a fairly shallow depth of field but it is stopped down to f8 so I think we're gonna have some detail uh, in it as well but I think we might uh, do a little bit of experimentation with these now, I'll put on some other modifiers and I'll see if I can get some other subject for this. So, all in all, this is the second part of the sessions with light and it's basically going to be these types of still lifes and uh, we'll see what we can get, uh, so stay tuned, bye! Okay, so we're back and this time we have a conundrum for photographers, we get we have black on black, so it's the Nikon EM that we're going to take a picture of. And uh, yeah, we have a little bit of a different type of setup now here. We have one of the flashes set here with a golden umbrella. Uh, and uh, try to maximize the distance between the flash and the umbrella to get as much spreading as possible of the light. And uh, <coughs> over here we then have... Uh, the other uh, strobe or other, you know, studio light with a snoot on it. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna do a uh, light reading at least on it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that. Let's see here. F17, uh, we'll see a 17, that means we should be all right at f8. That would be a good at 1 60th of a second and f8. There we go. Such. And we're gonna use the 80 millimeter for this. F8, let's see now. So, lens cap and the remote unit. Where do you have the remote unit? There we go. And also, this one is set at a little bit more than one eighth power, and the one back here with the umbrella is at half power. Let's see now, I think that with the with the 80 millimeter now, we actually don't fill up the frame completely. So this, I think, actually it's a good opportunity when. I'm gonna use the zoom lens instead. So one moment and I'll just go and fetch that one because I want to fill the frame and do my composing so much as possible in camera uh, so I don't crop afterwards. So yeah, one moment please. Okay, so now we're back with the uh, 
zoom lens on the camera and uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, okay, and we'll see what more we can do here. Turn you off. So yeah, that's a little bit of the things, and uh, I think we're soon, uh, we've soon used up this roll of film, so we're just gonna take that away, and uh, we'll see what else we can have and take a uh, photo of. So we'll be right back. Okay, you know, we have actually just uh, put up a still life uh, and uh, yeah, it's just some miscellaneous parts uh, that I found in, you know, found around the house. And uh, we're using uh, two flashes then and with my... Using two flashes then with modifiers, we have the uh, barn doors with a yellow filter and there we have the uh, <coughs> a golden umbrella with a blue filter so both of them there we go and uh, we're gonna do a uh, light reading on this then see ya 20 that would mean that we should use f11 so we'll just follow these instructions and see what it gives us And uh, we are using the uh, the 80 millimeter f2. There we go. Something like that. And I guess we only have one exposure left, so I think we're gonna. Do a bracket on this, I'm gonna take one at f16 as well and see. There we go, and I would suspect that that's the roll. So now we're finished, and uh, next time we will develop it. So, yeah, see you then. There we go.